Makarovsky lifestyle. As you saw in the introduction video, I made or I will make hanging lamp out of my Vietnamese hat, which I brought back from my Vietnam trip with <laughs> Alyssa, um, where I also filmed a lush sun protection review. So click below if you want to see that. Since I had a lot of luggage and I could only bring back one Vietnamese hat, this is going to be a, um, let's call it, learning while doing video. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. But let's uh, check out first what do you and I need definitely to make it happen. To make a hole in the head, we need a knife or a cutter, ideally both. Um, to make the hole then bigger, I use the screwdriver with a conical ending and for stabilization, nail polish. So, before you go to Vietnam and get your hat, <laughs> or after that, you need to think about the um, equipment to really have and be able to assemble a lamp. So, um, either you get a fully assembled ceiling rose kit with the cable and the bulb holder usually in the hardware stores you get it for super cheap i think two euros dollars as lotty as what they <laughs> but uh i decided to go against it um because usually the uh, ceiling rose kit is super high and i wanted to have a different kind of design and i always loved the um the the trend where the cables are hanging the cord cables are hanging with those big beautiful golden bulbs and i thought okay this is what i want to um, use for my vietnamese hat um, so as you see this is the uh, cord cable i went for black i thought uh, this will go somehow perfectly uh, also with my um with the entrance where i will put it you will see it later um this is a cord cable then the ceiling rose kit which i already attached fully and um, this is how you need to assemble it this is what i did so in case you have something similar and it took me some time to figure it out um, this is how it would look like so this little piece goes first in the cable um, and um, then the ceiling rose kit basically and then a small kind of circle which looks like this then this comes first um then the bigger one you see here as in the picture and you screw everything together um, yeah that's basically it they there you also can really play around with the length of the cable and then of course please watch the videos how to cut the cable to exactly the length you want and um yeah bring out those different wires that's Definitely something I'm not going to teach you because I'm also a beginner. <laughs> okay, and this is the bulb holder which I will assemble later with you together. This will go here with that beautiful bulb. So let's go to the next step where I'm super, super nervous. <laughs> we need to make finally the hole in the head. Um, let me double check with that cable. I think. If I cut the hole here and keep the line, I think it would perfectly fit in. So what I thought I'm going to do is to do something super girly. So I'm applying here transparent nail polish so it gets a little bit stronger and more fixed um, once I start destroying the poor head. Good amount, don't be shy. Let it dry and then make a hole so firstly I'm trying to make a hole with uh, this knife and from inside to outside with a rotating movement to put a pressure and let's see how it works um, yeah I can slowly feel something is happening Oof, it's not that easy to keep the hat stable because it's so delicate I want to put as least pressure as possible on the head. Okay, I think I will try from the other side. Let's see. Ah, there's a mini hole. Okay, let's see from this side why we're putting the same movement. I think I will use a waistcoat cut cutter. Um, I feel it's more, yeah, gives me more flexibility in the movement and it's also sharper. Yes, way sharper. That's the right tool for this stage. So what I'm trying to do is basically to really 
cut off the uh, straw tip of the hat. Oh, we have a good hole. Now I'm taking this screwdriver with a kind of conical ending and mm, yeah, pushing again from inside the head outside slowly to make the hole bigger, also rotating the screwdriver. I think we're getting there. What do you think, it's enough? Let's check it out, come on. to follow the steps you can see here. much with this because it's a very sensitive it's handwork and it's time to attach it to the ceiling and see if I manage to wire everything correctly. Let's see how it turned out. Voila! <laughs> Thank you Vienna. It's such a beautiful memory now it's hanging in my entrance and I love it. Good night.